How's it going everybody? Bobby here once again. You might know me online as Iron Hammer 5 and today I've got a bit of a different video for you because I want to show you something that's going to help out the new vapors hopefully and perhaps those who aren't too sure whether vaping is for them. Perhaps they're still, still smoking and they want to try something out that's not too expensive and see if they think they can switch to vaping because uh, many people have perhaps had bad experiences with other devices but today you might be used to seeing me vaping off something like this but today I'm going to be vaping on this. What is it? It's the Aspire BVC Clearomizer, which is a little tiny Aspire Clearomizer, plastic Clearomizer, which takes BVC coils. I'm rocking it on the ITACLK1280, but I'm pretty sure that any variable voltage battery will get you going on one of these. So a cheap Ego Twist or something, plus one of these tanks, which costs about a fiver, is going to be a great way just to check out vaping and get a good first vape and find out if you think you can make the switch, because I think with something like this you probably can. The BBC calls perform great. It looks familiar to people. They're not going to be put off by it. It looks like this, the same kind of e-cigarettes that people have seen before. And uh, I think it's a real good way to get started out. It's what my missus vapes on all the time. This is actually her setup here that I've got here. And uh, she's got some MBV grappler juice in here, which I don't really like. But it reminds me of those... Do you guys remember those trash can sweets? They were like little plastic trash cans and they had little candies inside like fish bones and stuff it tastes like that to me so um if that floats you boat check out mbv grappler i'm not too keen on that but she vapes it all the fucking time um so let's have a quick look at it a little bit closer right so it's a very simple affair it's a small clearomizer familiar in looks to what you might have seen before it's got a removable drip tip it is a 510 drip tip so all other drip tips should fit in there okay uh it opens up at the bottom here if you want to fill it up you just unscrew this part and this comes out with your coil attached and it's a BBC coil very similar to the Nautilus but a little bit smaller so uh, this is a great alternative considering it costs five pounds and the Nautilus costs like 20 pounds this is a good way to check it out maybe move up to a Nautilus you then throw your liquid around the edge of that metal pole you don't want to get anything inside there of course uh, you change your coil I can balance that for a moment just by unscrewing this part here and uh, there's your tiny little BBC coil you screw that back in when you want to change your coils fill her up with juice screw this part back on and uh, there you have it so um, if you want to get started with vaping or something these cost like a fiver a piece they're an absolute bargain and uh, it's a real great way. It was actually the first thing that I started vaping on was one of these, and I was quite lucky to do so because I know people had much worse stuff. But uh, you can take the voltage too. I mean, if we crank it up to like five volts on this I taste CLK, okay. it handles it. No burning. This is a 70 30, 70% uh, VG mix, and it wicks fine. Vapes fine, right? can't argue with that um, so definitely check these out and if you want to recommend something to people like if you're watching this one of my regular viewers you're probably not going to buy one of these for yourself but uh, if somebody's new and they say how can I start vaping cheap definitely consider this or any of the other small clearances that take these BBC coils they're around great BBC coils I can't even say it right they're, they all perform very much well I've got the uh, I think it's the VV Nova or something which also fits these coils if it's or some kind of I don't know what it's called. No, it's an ETS that I've got, not a VV Nova. Uh, the Spy ETS that I've also used those coils in as well, a glass tank. This one is, of course, plastic, which could be a downside. My missus likes the plastic one more than the glass one because it's a lot more lightweight and uh, it's not so top heavy, so she prefers that. Some people might prefer that. Obviously, be careful if you put any like lemon juices or anything like that that might crack your tank. Um, I've had a banana one crack a tank before, it's not fun, especially if you just bought a brand new tank like I had. Um, so yeah, check out. There's no juice, uh, no tank cracking juices that you're using in here. But um, for five pounds, I mean, pairing it with a little ego twist, which you could probably get for like ten, fifteen pounds now, right? Uh, if you look in the right places online, it's going to be a nice first vape. You're not going to be disappointed, I wouldn't think. And it's really going to help people stop smoking, which is why I made this video because it's all cool to talk about the advanced stuff and all this stuff that I vape on all the time, and a lot of you other guys vape on all the time. But uh, at the end of the day, it's about switching from cigarettes to vaping. So that's why I made this video. If you're new to vaping, check it out. Aspire BBC Clearomizer of any kind. 
should do you very well indeed. Catch you later, guys.